I got a condo in Manhattan. Baby girl, what's happening? You and your ass invited. So go on and get to clapping. Go pop a phone, pan, pop, pop a phone me. Turn around and drop it for a plan. Drop, drop it for me. I went to Peach House in Miami. Wake up with no jammies. I just thought maybe something was wrong, but I didn't know what it was, you know. She said her grandmother was like that too. So I'm saying to myself, do y'all think Jackie uh, basically gave that baby away because that baby wasn't, you know, up to her standards? I don't know. And you guys, all this is uh, allegedly. And um, I'm like, something ain't right. That young lady sounds so sweet. And I'm so glad Jason Lee gave her a platform to talk. She said, my mother don't call me. She talked about the GoFundMe, how somebody started it. And um, it had raised so much money. And it resurfaced after the media got a hold of I guess that's the second time when Jackie was trying to explain to Evelyn, dumbass, about when she donated and uh, how that came about. But um, Takari sounds um, very intelligent. You know, it just sounds like the poor baby looking for love. Looking for love in all the wrong places. She just want her mama to love her, you know. And um, she said, I have my children and I love them to death. And she never bad mouthed her mother. She said her mother put out, told her the bank was taking over the property, which we know nine times out of 10, that was a lie. She wanted the girl out. She said her mother never called. Sound like her mother never really helped her. I don't know. I don't, it's, it's a lot of holes in, those, in that story, but there's nothing like a mother's love. And I just wish those two could meet, sit down, do some counseling and try to get it together. Cause no matter what, Takari, that's your mom. And she kept saying, I guess my mother didn't know no better. She loved me to, to, to the best way she could. And that's just something in life, you guys, we learn a lot of times when we, you know, nurture our children and our family, if we, was brought up where the parents were hollering, cussing, and screaming at you. You know, you, you're a particle of your environment. In other words, what went on during the time you were uh, young, we don't realize these children are sponges. They pick up everything we say and everything we do. And a lot of times we're not paying attention but if you turn around and you look you're like, what's she doing doing that? She's seen you do it. A lot of times in life, you be like, stop. And you curse it and the kids holler, MF, go set your ass down. And they repeat something they heard you say. We just gotta be careful. And uh, basically, um, I think those two really could work it out. It sounds like she just want her mother love. It really do sound like that. But um, my heart goes out to Takari and Jackie. And I wish people would back up, get out of it. Evelyn, get your shit together. Sweep around your own front porch. Because your life is not peaches and cream, boo boo. It is not nowhere near honey. I don't know. You, you try to make it seem like you all that in the bag of chips just because you got looks, bitch. Looks is not everything, okay? I ain't been able now, day, and I ain't saying I'm uh, beautiful, but honey, I can't take no fine legs and ass to Nevada Power, Southwest Gas, and nowhere else. That's one thing I have never done is try to use my body looks or whatever to get things from men. I go and take my ass to work. I go to work with husbands or not, I have always been employed. I refuse to set back and, and let someone take care of me. Now, if I have to in life, that's a difference. Or if I really find someone 
that I can trust. That's it right there. That word trust. I would. But right now, honey, I don't trust some of these people as far as I can see them. Pick you up and throw you and that's as far as I trust your ass. Bobby Brown is talking about um, whooping um, <laughs> Kanye West's ass. He said that shit was out of line for you to take a picture and post it of his ex when she was going through probably the worst time of her life. But my thing is, Bobby Brown whoop his ass. You got my permission and everybody else because he wrong. Kanye, you got $85,000 to go purchase a picture for an album. But you can't help the um, Donda's House Foundation that's about your mom. You can't reach out and help that foundation. And if you just don't want to, just say, hey, I'm not going to. That's not something I'm going to do. I'm not uh, interested in it anymore. Or I don't like the way the guy is running it. Do some, because that shit don't look good. It does not look good, boo. <laughs> and then Kim going to have a um, meeting with the president about prison reform. I said, Chris, you trying your hardest <laughs> to make Kim Kardashian seem like she got some intelligence. You know? She's just cute. That's all I'm going to say. She cute. But like I said, cute don't get you nowhere. It got, I mean, you became famous from a sex tape. I'm like, you know, and it is what it is. Shit. Give me something to go viral and I could go set my ass down and be still. I just may do it, okay? I'm not knocking her. But I think sometimes and Kim always jump. I'm I'm um helping my husband and I'm doing this, I'm doing that, and I'm doing those. Bitch, go set your ass down. Go have a seat. Under the fuck section, okay? Cause you be just doing team too much. But Bobby Brown, whoop his ass, whoop his ass, whoop his ass. You guys, something I uh I don't know if I spoke about. Aisha Curry. Did y'all hear something about her getting into it with a fan? The fans say he was just saying things about the game and, I, you know, I hope we bust him in the gut or something like that. He said he didn't even know this young lady was pregnant. I guess she got offended. And uh, cause, because he was saying things about the game, this bitch had enough courage to go over there. He had a cigarette in his mouth and knocked the cigarette out of his mouth. Because he was talking about basically he just a fan. Super fan. <clears throat> and she got pissed off and was ready to fight. I said, you know, Miss Aisha Curry, somebody going to fuck you up. Because you got on social media one time. And got to showing out. And you tried to make it seem like, you know, it is what it is. They tried to take control of your ass. But you're going to do the wrong thing one day. And somebody going to handle that ass. Okay? With that Drake shit, you guys. Um. Tiana Taylor, her husband, I man Shumpert, however you say his name, it has came out that he has been cheating, it was cheating, all this is allegedly, with Drake's baby mama, the porn star. <laughs> I said, oh my goodness. I said, this shit is getting so messy. Push your teeth. You gonna drag everybody in the bullshit, okay? Who's in control of the girls? <laughs> I just want to know who's in control of the girls. Yeah, this traffic is so bad. I'm like, do I got a uniform down here? Because I'm going to throw this uniform on and run across that bridge. Oh, I ain't got no extra uniform back here. But anyway, you guys, my son cleaned out my car. And he, t he took all my stuff out. Oh, I got a purse. Y'all, I got everything back here, okay? <laughs> but uh, the young man that was over, um, Zach TV, he was over, uh, he had a YouTube channel. They say he was a hood reporter. He got killed last night in Chicago. And um, he had just did an interview with some rappers. But uh, they said Chicago is off the chain. So my condolences go out to Zach TV and his family. They said he was doing a great job. And um, he was excellent with his hood reviews, okay? So get it how you live. 
I guess Tommy Lee is officially fired from Love and Hip Hop ATL, you guys. She is a dunyan. She done. And they say this happened about three months ago, but I guess the producers and stuff, they put it out till it got aired. She was going off on a makeup artist because she said the makeup artist made her enemy look better than her. <laughs> That's when she started to threaten the young lady and say, I know where you live. But I guess she also threatened to uh, shoot some of the staff members. So, <clears throat> I guess they said enough is enough with you, Tommy. We, you're done. And I said, this young lady, she needs some serious help. And like I said in the beginning, everybody thought it was cute. It ain't cute no more. It ain't cute, okay? I said, okay, Tommy. You in a fucked off a good job, boo. And everywhere you look, everybody talking about you saying you fight, you're not paying the makeup artists, you're showing up late to the events. I think you may have kind of killed your career. I said, I don't even think this young lady realized how reckless she is. And um, I, everybody keeps saying she dating black youngsters. She may be pregnant. I hope not. That girl got a drinking problem. A bad. And she would tell us, it's only Chardonnay, it's only wine. But I seen that whole pot at Hennessy in that glass that day. That ain't just no wine, okay? So, it is what it is, okay? What else we got to chit, chat, tally, whack, give a dog a bone? We talked about Drake. Roseanne, her racist ass. Takara Lee. Bobby Brown. Sean, the singer. That song I love on the weekend. I guess her, her vocal cords are damaged. She's been on tour. For the last 11 months and the doctor's telling her she better sit down or she fuck up her vocal cords <laughs> yeah that's what vocal cords be swelling up these allergies so um they're telling Sha she's gonna have have to sit sit it out for a minute okay but hey you guys thanks for sliding through yeah hit that like button follow me over there on ig tiki 44 and uh, this is going to be a video I'm going to split up and make it a two-day video. Y'all have a lucky day, guys. Thanks for sliding through. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Bye, guys. Y'all, this is my shit. This, this is Shaw. This is her song. Take us out on a girl. On the weekend, okay? Y'all, this traffic is thick. Bye, guys.